Here in Mount Snow in Vermont, some big news about next year has been announced in the past week. Mount Snow will replace its Summit Triple Chair with the East First six-passenger high-speed detachable bubble chairlift. The new lift will be a big help in dispersing skiers and riders from Mount Snow's main base area to its diverse network of 85 trails. And that bubble will come in handy on a day just like this one. The past week has brought a wide variety of weather to the North Country. Smuggler's Notch checked in with 30 inches early in the week. JP close to 40 and more than two feet fell at Stowe, where the NCAA Skiing Championships will be held this Thursday and Saturday. Bolton Valley got close to 30, as did Mad River. Killington and Central Vermont checked in with 16 inches. West Mountain and Glens Falls enjoyed 14 inches of snow, while Whiteface and Lake Placid got tagged with 28. The eastern townships had their biggest storm of this season. Over two feet buried all the runs at Mount Sutton, Owlshead, and Mount Orford. Pack powder still rules at Mont saint Sever, Mont Olympia, and Mont Gabriel up in the Laurentians. Mont Avila, Ski Moran Heights, and Edelweiss Valley stayed north of most of the weather issues once again, and all three areas are looking good. About a foot and a half fell at Mont saint Anne and Stoneham in the Quebec City region. The Balsams got 16 inches. They'll hold a Telefest on Saturday. Out west, light snow fell much of this week at Sun Valley and Jackson Hole, but Snowbird got nailed with three feet of fresh powder. Thankfully, it looks like some seasonable temperatures will be in place over the east this weekend. I'm Herb Stevens, the Skiing Weatherman.